Red Ivan is a fan of human wave tactics, but training up replacement minions is time consuming and expensive. So in an effort to cut costs and save time, Ivan has enacted a new policy to recycle invading agents. Instead of executing them on site, we're going to convince them of our great cause. And I mean, just listen to that charismatic speech. Who wouldn't want to work for Ivan? But just in case, we'll do a bit of brainwashing too. And voila, a perfectly loyal, slightly underpaid minion. Jokes aside, not every agent is going to be worth brainwashing. For example, no matter how high level investigators are, they'll only ever turn into normal minions. So it's better to use them for intel or just execute them on site. The more useful targets for brainwashing are the special agents, soldiers, saboteurs, and rogues. Capturing and brainwashing these agents will give you more elite minions. Soldiers turning into muscle minions, saboteurs because Becoming science minions, and rogues into deception minions. While I would love to show a clip of rogues being brainwashed, my attempts to lure them in with gold at the front door ended... well, let's let's call it poorly. A nice side benefit to brainwashing, beyond getting a new minion, is that you can also get minions that you haven't unlocked yet. As you can see, I haven't unlocked martial artists yet, but brainwashing this soldier has given me a new minion of this type. Not sure if it's a bug or intentional, but I like it. Makes an interesting case for brainwashing in the early to mid game. Regardless, it's a good idea to keep some special agents in prison, as having lots of prisoners is like having battery backups for power. If you find yourself short on elite minions, you can quickly brainwash agents to fill the vacancies. Basically, free high-level minions in reserve. They just don't know they work for you yet. Red Ivan also really enjoys this setup, as he's never had such a captive audience for his speeches before. But there are some things you want to keep in mind to avoid headaches. Making capture zones is a great way to be lazy and fill up your prison, but if you're like me and aggressively remove the tourist area, as they clearly don't appreciate Ivan's speeches, tourists will still feel the need to burst in the front door, and your minions will gun them down on sight. Now, this is a slight problem, as tourists are completely useless, and only take up space. Worst of all, even if you add secure doors, apparently, tourists have maximum security clearance, so they'll just walk right into the firing squad. So if you feel like you have enough prisoners, just mark the entry area as a kill zone. The donut is great for muscle playstyles, as you can focus all your defenses in one spot and quickly swarm on invaders, but any map can work, really. And in fact, other layers with two entrances could be better mainly to avoid collecting garbage tourists in your prison cells. Brainwashing is an expensive investment and will only really be worth it in the mid to late game when you can directly convert high level agents into elite minions, filling any losses from combat or global schemes. Make sure to leave a like if you learned something and stay tuned for next time when we check out the new Cryofall game. Thanks for watching.